Hi and a very good evening to all of you. How are you all? Welcome back to our daily current affairs videos. I hope you all are safe and healthy and so is your preparation. Do watch Anuj sir's latest video to gauge the level of your preparation, right? To you know to judge yourself whether you are on the right path or not. You can write uh, find it out in your youtube playlist all right so do check that out right you only have 40 to 45 days left for your rbi grade b exam right you still have time if you still want to ensure that you cross the cut off in all of the four sections right you have to ensure a sure shot selection in phase 1 examination as well as the phase 2 examination I'm telling you once more there is still time you can have a look at our RBI grade B crash course all right and nevertheless nevertheless you can always get in touch with our mentors you can always get always get guided by guidance from Anuj sir right you can watch his videos you can watch the spotlight revision right focus more on revision and a thorough analysis of your mocks get in touch with our mentors join our discussion forum right uh you know put down your queries in our open discussion forum for all the students right where our mentors can get in touch with you and get your queries resolved all right so all these facts are very important if you want the pdf of our daily current affairs videos also like in every video i tell you you can get it in our telegram channel right if you want the pdf go join our telegram channel you will get the pdf of all the video lectures that you find here on youtube all right to usko ja ke zarur join kariyega okay and also download our app download our app is app mein aapko sare updates mil jayenge you know all the time it is a one stop solution you know for everything that you need for the examination okay like daily gk quiz exam update drop top strategies everything right aapko google search karke apna time waste karne ki zarurat nahi hai everything is available on the app so if you want any help you know you should you should uh, try to inculcate efficiency in your routine you should try to inculcate efficiency in your daily habits and practice in the way you study in the way you read all right not only hard work but smart work is required for the preparation so jab aapko ek app pe sab kuch already mil raha hai so why would you you know wander here and there just you know an example right with minimum input try to maximize your output not just in your preparation but in everyday life right that will also define you ahead in your future profession in the job that you are preparing for right this efficiency is very very important in life okay so let's start with the very first question for today let's start with the very first question we have which of the following portal has been launched by the ministry of road transport and highways so as to provide instant information on road accidents right road accidents aapko pata hai india mein 84% of the accidents uh, you know these are because of drivers error right they account for the driver error so uh, in on 14th of april i guess on 14th of april daily current affairs videos you will find you will find a slide in which ministry of uh, road transport ministry of electronics and information technology launched several software right launched several applications that you know warn the driver they warn the driver of you know driving error and reduce the chances of road accidents राइट right? इसी तरह जो हमारा कंट्री का हाईवे एंड रोड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इट इज बीइंग मेड इट इज बीइंग डिजिटाइज्ड राइट द गवर्नमेंट इज फोकसिंग ऑन एस्टैब्लिशिंग स्मार्ट हाईवे सिस्टम राइट द गवर्नमेंट इज फोकसिंग ऑन रिड्यूसिंग द फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ रोड एक्सीडेंट्स दैट आर कंट्री विटनेस एवरी ईयर राइट ऑलमोस्ट एवरी डे राइट सो उसी से रिलेटेड एक और छोटा सा इनिशिएटिव आया है सम इनिशिएटिव आर बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी some initiatives are made by the ministry of road transport right and highways okay so aapko is baat ka hamesha dhyan rakhna hai that whenever you are reading about such apps and such initiatives you should know you should always be careful as to which ministry has launched which app right you you must have watched manish sir's videos on government schemes right you already have an idea what i am talking about 
Okay, so never get confused in these initiatives. Always take note of the ministry that have uh, launched a particular initiative, whatever we discuss in our classes. All right, so this initiative, Ministry of Road Transport and Highway, ne ek app launch kiya hai. All right, so this app is basically focused on the victims of road accidents so that they can avail instant help. Their family members can be informed about the accident instantly. All right, so all these uh, factors are there. They can claim their compensation also. So the correct answer here among all of these options that we have, the correct answer here is either. All right, either app has been launched by the Ministry of Road Transport and Highways. Right, either uh, is full form here, detailed accident report. Detailed accident report will be generated and will be communicated to the family members of the victim. Right, it will also be uh, transferred to the concerned authorities, right, like hospitals, like the police agencies, like the insurance companies, right, for the accident claim and all those facts, right. So, this is a very important initiative. Hai. It is a subcomponent. It aims to fulfill the goal of Brasilia Declaration on Road Safety. Brasilia Declaration of Road Safety, it was signed in the year 2015. Right? Brasilia, which is in Brazil. This Sustainable Development Goal 3.6 fulfill karta hai, which is to half the number of global deaths caused by road accidents by the year 2030. All right, half the number of global deaths, right? So, is Brasilia declaration ke under hi, India ne hi kafi sare important initiatives launch kiye hain. All right, a lot of important initiatives launched by the government of India, you know, to reduce the frequency of road accidents, to control the roadway and traffic congestion, right? For example, fast track and RFID, to it will not only smoothen out the transports of goods, services and passengers across different states, but will also, you know, help reduce road accidents because when those things become smooth and more automa automated, when the vehicles on the road, you know, they move smoothly, the chances of accidents are automatically reduced, right? But that is again an indirect consequence of, his, of it. Right, is it United Nations? Ne, United Nations ne 2007, uh, 2010 se 2020 taka jo decade tha, it was the decade of road safety. Right, 2010 se 2020 the decade was uh, you know devoted towards road safety. Right, and India India ranks third among 20 nations with the highest number of road accidents. So, road accidents in India is a very grave concern, right? And bohat, bohat important uh, or achhi scheme jo government ne abhi launch kari thi, matlab kuch saal pehle launch kari thi, that is, you all must have heard about Good Samaritan Scheme, right? Good Samaritan Scheme, Good Samaritan Scheme was launched by the government of India in the year 2017, or 16, please confirm. But the Good Samaritan scheme is aimed to encourage people to help the victims of road accidents. Right? So, according to doctors, 50% of the people die because die because of road accidents because they are unable to get treatment within the golden hour. Right? 24 hours ka golden hour hota hai. Agar un, us golden hour ke andar andar victims ko correct treatment bil jai, then their lives could have been saved. So, 50% is a big number. Right? And Good Samaritan scheme basically aims to encourage people to help out the victims of road accidents. Right? So, basically kya hota hai? That whoever is helping a victim, right, there will be no police inquiry on that person. The, that person will not be burdened with any police investigation or inquiry, right? They will be get, uh, get getting compensated for it. They will be getting rewarded for it, all right? So, this is what Good Samaritan Scheme is all about, to encourage people help, to help the victims of road accidents, <coughs> right? So, you all know, you all know Nitin Gadkari is the Union Minister of uh, Road Transports and Highway. All right. Or be bohat sare chote chote initiatives, hai, right? Even if the municipal government starts imposing stricter penalties on the, uh, you know, violation of traffic laws, right? Half of the road accident cases will stop then and there only. All right. 
the road transport authority the road transport officers become more transparent right more strict while issuing licenses to people all right these are some key issues isi tarah motor vehicle amendment act 2019 mein aaya tha right the, that also motor vehicle amendment act motor vehicle amendment act 2019 also uh, you know contains the provisions uh, whereby a national road safety national road safety board can be uh, you know instituted under the motor vehicle amendment act of 2019 and also the amendment also includes a lot of reforms stricter penalties when it comes to violation of traffic rules all right so a lot of other measures are being taken to ensure road safety of passengers in our country okay so moving on to the next question moving on to the next question we have here oh. right so moving on to this mobile seva app mobile seva app is a decade old app right it was launched in the year 2011 okay it was launched in the year 2011 as uh, an initiative aaj ke language mein usko hum kahenge atmanirbhar bharat but back then in 2011 when the concept was not there mobile seva app wanted all the government applications to you know uh, uh, be available for download just hum log google play store pe ja ke alag alag apps download karte hain apne system mein right even in our laptops we have our download apps right like google pay play store like app store and uh, iphone products all right isi tarah mobile seva app store is a store of all the government apps right recently in 2021 the government of india opened this app to private players right so now in mobile app store not only government apps but also private player apps like ku or phone pay or paytm all these can be downloaded from that play store all right not play store but mobile seva app store right so it is an initiative basically to revive this mobile app portal now the question is asking you when was the app store launched right so the correct answer here is a it was launched in 2011 right <clears throat> this app was launched in the year 2011 right it was built by the center for development of advanced computing cdag bahut hi important research and development uh, organization uh, that comes under the ministry of electronics and information technology all right it is the department of electronics it comes under of course department of electronics and information technology we will discuss a few things about cdag but first let's just cover the question right let's just cover the question we have here is that mobile seva app store is initially hosted by all the only government apps right initially it hosted only government apps as i've told you that in 2021 the app store was open to private players also all right so now paytm social media apps ku like ku twitter all these services can be installed from mobile seva right now a recent survey that was conducted it was found that in in april 15th april 2022 it the app had 1058 apps right which is an increase of 965 live apps in 2021 but however the problem is that of these 1058 apps most of them still remain to be government apps among the most prominent private apps that exist on mobile seva app they include digital payment platforms like paytm and social media app like ku okay so let's talk briefly about cdac why am i talking about cdac it is a very very important institute right it was initially initiated in the year 1988 1988 mein isko start kiya gaya tha with the objective of launching or creating or making indigenous super computers right super computers now have become the norm in india we keep reading about super computers right like param right like pratyush mihir right aur bhi bahut sare super computers aa gaye but at that time at that time in uh, the year 1998 right 
under the leadership of professor vijay bhatnagar under the leadership of professor vijay bhatnagar india's first indigenous supercomputer named param 2008 was launched right not param 2008 but param 8000 was india's first indigenous supercomputer right launched under the leadership of uh, professor vijay bhatnagar under cdac all right and that time in 1988 param 2008 was the world's second largest fastest supercomputer all right so ye sare important facts hain isi tarah whenever we read or we study current affairs right if we are thode bahut bhi agar aap well read ho ya curious ho ya fir janna chahte ho so you automatically connect the dots right these are all what these are connectives right aapko ye ek topic pad rahe ho usse related bahut sare sub topics hain jiske bare mein facts aapko pata hone chahiye right that increases that increases your sense of elimination in the mcq right that increases your chances of uh, you know choosing the correct answer in mcqs that is why this mind mapping right analyzing these connectives and you know linking with these facts becomes very very important okay so isi tarah whenever you read you know jaise agar aapne newspaper khola you are reading something about cdac about some initiative of, uh, about cdac i encourage you all to go to the google search and search and learn about cdac you should be inherently curious right as an individual also that this inherent curiosity is expected from you all okay it really helps you in the long run it helps you in even in phase 1 also it makes you a more knowledgeable human being and that shows in the interview as well okay so we have we have already discussed this slide i guess okay so moving on quickly to the next question agle sawal ki taraf what are the four locations of hanuman ji char dham project char dham of india you all know char dham of india what are the famous char dham people who people who are eager to you know attain moksha at an early stage you must be knowing about chartham but also jokes apart as a general knowledge as a general knowledge you should be knowing you should be knowing about our culture right you should be knowing about our ancient and medieval monuments right agar chartham exam mein aate to aapko pata hona chahiye wo chartham kaun kaun se hai badrinath right dwarka puri and rameswaram right but chartham project jo hai chartham project jo hai that aims to connect four uh, pilgrim which places in gaherwal himalayas right right char dham highway project it basically connects kedarnath yamunotri gangotri and badrinath okay to ye difference hai usi ke basis pe usi ke in inspiration ke basis pe ye hanuman ji char dham project has also been launched wherein 408 feet tall statues of lord hanuman will be installed in all the four corners of our country right not south east west all right so basically the question is asking you to name the four locations kon kon si char locations mein 408 feet tall statue of lord hanuman will be installed okay now uh, the question becomes important why because the question becomes important uh because there have been many schemes to develop tourism in our country right tourism is one of the biggest industries in our nations right that have been severely been impacted due to covid-19 wuhan virus all right so tourism ko promote karne ka ye important you know way out hai to you know connect religious uh, pilgrimages right you all must have heard about ram circuit ram circuit बुद्धा सर्किट बुद्धा सर्किट एंड कृष्णा सर्किट राइट दिस इज ऑल्सो टू प्रमोट टूरिज्म इन द स्टेट ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश और राइट इसी तरह और भी टूरिस्ट रिलेटेड स्कीम्स हैं यू कैन वॉच आर वीडियोज ऑन गवर्नमेंट स्कीम्स वी मस्ट हैव डेफिनेटली कवर्ड अबाउट प्रसाद राइट वी मस्ट हैव ऑल्सो डेफिनेटली कवर्ड अबाउट हृदय 
Also, one of the very lesser known facts is that Hajj pilgrimage, Hajj pilgrimage to Makkah and Medina is also subsidized by the government of India. All right, so that is why, in light of these initiatives, right, in light of uh, promotion of tourism industry, right, interconnecting uh, uh, the various parts of a country through highways, roadways, and even inland waterways, and now even we include ropeway infrastructure. This is a very very important um, slide. All right, so the correct answer here is Shimla, Morbi, Rameswaram, and Bengal. Okay. And these are the four places uh, where the statue of Lord Hanuman will be set up, a 108 feet tall statue. Now, a very important question, it is also part of, you know, Indian art and culture. Maybe it will come in RBI, maybe it will not. But you should be knowing about it. The tallest Jain statue of India. Where is it situated? Please down, write it down in the comments below. Note it again, it is one of the tallest statues or in the Jain, in the religion of jainism in india right it is situ situated in the state of madhya pradesh one hint but where do let me know in the comments below and i encourage you all to do go you know read about it for only two three minutes also it will add on to your knowledge okay so here are the four uh, places jhaku temple ashram of param puja keshwanandji in morbi gujarat okay rameswaram you all know very important place, one of the Char Dhams, one of the actual Char Dhams, Rameswaram in Tamil Nadu. And the fourth statue will be in West Bengal, where we'll clarif clarify uh, you about this in our upcoming slides. Okay, which of the following companies, which of the following companies have developed quick reaction fighting vehicle medium, QRVF, right, IM, IPMV, Ulta Long Range uh, Observatory System, ye sari comp ye sari, uh, which of the following companies have developed these uh, three important uh, systems for the Indian Army? Right, three important infrastructure systems for the Indian Army. Okay, Con -con -si companies this could develop here. The correct answer here is Tata Advanced Limited System. Tata Advanced Limited System, it has developed all these four facilities for the Indian Army. Let's discuss the entire event. So, basically, Chief of Indian Army General MM. Uh, Nara, Naravane, Narwane, M.M. Narwane has praised Tata, uh, Tata Advanced System Limited, that is TASL. It ha he has praised TASL for introducing specialized vehicles to the Indian Army, right? You just, you don't need to remember the details of these specialized vehicles, but yes, remembering the name is a little important, right? To help you remember the name, you already have these short forms, QR, VFL, obviously would mean quick reaction fi uh, fighter vehicle, right? IM, IPMV and ultra long range observation, observation system, right? Another very important, very important add-on to the Indian Army will be monocoque hull multi-role mine protected armored vehicle. Monocoque hull multi-role mine protected armor vehicle as the name suggests what does it mean it is somewhat it has uh, some inbuilt protection against mining installed in it okay so usually indian army ko weapons right war reserves usually con supply kar the ordnance factory board all right but now you know defense acquisition make in defense and all these in initiatives defense procurement has increased right and also recently, the government of India also released a 108 positive indigenous list. Positive indigenous list basically kya hai? Positive indigenous list includes some items. Abhi recently, 108 items have been introduced in positive indigenous list, right? So basically, these items uh, are those uh, that 
आर कंट्री डज नॉट अलाउ इट्स इम्पोर्ट फ्रॉम फॉरन नेशन क्यों to encourage its domestic manufacture to encourage indigenous production of these uh, you know listed items that is why it is known as positive indigenous list why positive because it will save us on our foreign exchange earnings and it will do- pro- promote you know domestic investment and domestic manufacture of defense equipments all right we will some day we will discuss more about this list all right आत्मनिर्भर भारत में डिफेंस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट राइट डिफेंस इन्वेस्टमेंट पाइपलाइन राइट अ सेपरेट बजट फॉर डिफेंस ऑल दीज इनिशिएटिव्स आर यू नो हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट व्हेन इट कम्स टू यू नो इंडिजनाइजिंग द डिफेंस इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड वॉर रिजर्व्स ऑफ अ कंट्री सो उसी से रिलेटेड ये बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट था कि प्राइवेट सेक्टर प्राइवेट सेक्टर हमारे यू नो डिफेंस में कैसे डिफेंस एसेट्स में कैसे कंट्रीब्यूट करता है तो यू हैव टू वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कंट्रीब्यूटर्स राइट भारत फोर्स एंड टाटा एडवांस सिस्टम लिमिटेड प्लीज टेक अ स्क्रीनशॉट ऑफ द स्लाइड सो दैट वी कैन मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन रिसेंटली रिसेंटली डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ इंडियन कोस्ट गार्ड आई जी पथानिया राइट डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ इंडियन कोस्ट गार्ड मिस्टर वी पथानिया has inaugurated a new hover port at okha right it has given you a statement now it is asking you a question one of the you know uh, latest trends seen in rbi great b general awareness section right where is okha located okha kahan pe located hai okay so the correct answer here is gujarat right dwarkadish uh, gujarat mein uh, there is a place named okha in the city of in the holy city of dwarka All right, Dev Bhumi Dwarka district of Gujarat. Me Okha is located, right? And it laid the foundation stone for a coast guard jetty at Vadinar. All right. So Indian coast guard ke baare me, you know, hover port basically sabse pehle kya hota hai? Pehle ye jaan lete, then we will move on to the Indian coast guard, right? Hover port basically ek infrastructure hai. It is actually a terminal for all the hover crafts, right? Hover crafts means uh, those vehicles that hover around or wait around the shores. all right sometimes they have passenger facilities where it is needed but sometimes usually usually hover ports are related to military uh, you know services but they can also include passenger infrastructure at some places right to ek aur india ka hover port kahan pe hai one more hover port by indian coast guard that is operated by indian coast guard it is in haldia okay very very important port also राइट right? यहाँ पे होवा पोर्ट भी है दैट इज मेंटेन बाय द इंडियन कोस्ट गार्ड इंडियन कोस्ट गार्ड बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट इंस्टीट्यूट है राइट इट वाज फॉर्मली स्टैब्लिश इन द ईयर 1977 राइट 1977 इट कम्स अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ डिफेंस और राइट बेसिकली ये लॉ इन्फोर्समेंट एंड सर्च एंड रेस्क्यू एजेंसी है बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया और राइट इट वर्क विद द इंडियन नेवी इट वर्क विद द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फिशरीज राइट डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ रेवेन्यू एंड स्टेट एंड सेंट्रल पुलिस फोर्सेस रिमेंबर स्टेट पुलिस फोर्सेस के साथ भी इंडियन कोस्ट गार्ड कोलेबोरेट्स और राइट दीज आर सम इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंटर्स राइट एंड वयम रक्षम Vayam Raksham is the motto of Indian Coast Guard. Vayam Raksham is Sanskrit for we protect. You know, it is very very interesting. Indian Navy, Indian Air Force, Indian Coast Guard, Indian Army, Supreme Court of India, and even RBI. One day, one day we will discuss all the important mottos of these government organizations. Most of them, which are in Sanskrit. and the very very interesting are very very inspiring you will get so much motivation when you read about them right when you learn the meaning of them so vayam raksham we protect is the motto of indian coast guard what is the motto of rbi what is the uh, motto of rbi search about it and write it down in the comments below read more about it get inspired <coughs> oops it's moving on to the next question with which university has inland waterways uh, authority of india launched signed an mou on research and development as well as investment and consultancy in inland waterways 
तो ये बहुत ही ज्यादा स्पेसिफिक क्वेश्चन है वॉट अवे कॉन्क्लेव वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट वॉट अवे कॉन्क्लेव इन वन ऑफ अर प्रीवियस वीडियोज राइट फोर्टीन और फिफ्टींथ के डेली करेंट अफेयर्स में आपको वॉट अवे कॉन्क्लेव के लेंथ में पता चल जाएगा आई हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट इट एट लेंथ अबाउट वॉट अवे इज कॉन्क्लेव राइट इन वन ऑफ अर प्रीवियस करेंट अफेयर्स वीडियो सो डू गो बैक टू आर प्ले लिस्ट एंड यू नो वॉच अबाउट इट लर्न अबाउट इट राइट आपका भी रिविजन हो जाएगा यू कैन डायरेक्टली रीड इट फ्रॉम द पीपीटी एज वेल राइट बट नेवर द लेस नेवर द लेस वी आर स्टिल गोइंग टू रिवाइज सम फैक्ट्स ओके सबसे पहले आंसर कर दीजिए इस क्वेश्चन को जल्दी से सो दैट वी कैन मूव ऑन टू द डिटेल्स राइट द करेक्ट आंसर हेयर इज गुवाहाटी यूनिवर्सिटी गुवाहाटी यूनिवर्सिटी के साथ इंडियन वाटरवे अथॉरिटी ऑफ इंडिया हैज साइंड एन एम ओ यू और मेमोरेंडम ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग और राइट ऑन रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट एज वेल एज इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड कंसल्टेंसी ठीक है ना लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द डिटेल्स लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द डिटेल्स यू हैव गुवाहाटी यूनिवर्सिटी एंड इनलैंड वाटरवे अथॉरिटी ऑफ इंडिया साइंड एन एम ओ यू ऑन रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट Investment consultancy in inland waterway. इसी तरह और total number of six MOUs has been signed by various uh, organizations. All right, waterway conclave कहाँ पे conduct कराया जा रहा है? It is being conducted in the city of Dibrugarh in Assam. Dibrugarh, Assam. Okay. National parks कभी कभी RBI Grade B के exam में आ जाते हैं. Wildlife sanctuaries भी आ जाते हैं. So you should know the Dibrugarh Psycho of Wildlife Sanctuary. very very famous in assam we have already discussed a lot of national parks in assam you should be aware of it right and also also very very important waterway conclave 2022 ko aap water conclave se mix up mat kariyega water conclave water conclave 2022 bhi hua tha right in the month of march second to fourth march ke beech mein Right, <coughs> this water conclave was conducted by Ministry of Jal Shakti. Right, this waterway conclave is being uh, organized by the Ministry of Shipping Ports and Inland Waterways. All right, water conclave was uh, conducted in collaboration with IIT Roorkee, right, and um, National Institute of uh, Waterways Management. All right, National Institute Institute of Hydrology, right? And IIT Roorkee के collaboration के साथ Water Conclave 2022 uh, conduct कराया गया था. This and Waterway Conclave are very very different, but probably कभी कभी जल्द बाजी में ऐसी minor चीजों को हम लोग confuse कर जाते हैं. So please be very very careful and peculiar when you read about these things, right? So second and MOU was also inked between IWAI and Brahmaputra Kaker Polymer Limited, all right, for transportation of cargo using inland waterways, right? So, promote business, right? Transport, you know, ah, in this, ha, ham log key term ka use karte backward and forward linkages. These kinds of MOUs do nothing but they promote employment. They help generate transport infrastructure, all right. So this is kind of important. Right, so let's quickly go through one of the most important MOU that has been signed. Right, <coughs> yes, Tata Steel, Tata Steel, Jamshedpur के साथ transportation and steel cargo के पे बहुत important uh, MOU sign हुआ है transportation of steel cargo. Right, why? Because steel, steel is a heavy metal. राइट स्टील इज हेवियर देन इट्स रॉ मटीरियल आयरन एंड कोर जब स्टील मैन्युफैक्चर होके आता है इट्स ट्रांसपोर्टेशन बिकम्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू द मार्केट टू द एक्सपोर्ट हब्स राइट टू द एक्सपोर्ट यूनिट्स टू द पोर्ट्स ऑफ आर कंट्री राइट सो इनलैंड वाटर वे इनलैंड वाटर वे कैन ऑफर अ ह्यूज स्कोप फॉर चीप ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ स्टील मैन्युफैक्चर प्रोडक्ट इन आर कंट्री राइट इवन मैन्युफैक्चर स्टील के ट्रांसपोर्ट में इनलैंड वाटर वेज प्ले अ वेरी वेरी की रोल बिकॉज इट इज अवी इंडस्ट्री राइट द एंड प्रोडक्ट इज ऑल्सो लिटरली हैवी ओनली राइट सो रोडवेज एंड रेलवेज आर नॉट ऑलवेज वेरी एफिशियंट वेन इट कम्स टू स्टील ट्रांसपोर्ट और राइट सो इसीलिए टाटा स्टील जमशेदपुर के साथ आईडब्ल्यू ए आई दैट इज 
इनलैंड वाटरवे अथॉरिटी ऑफ इंडिया ने एक एमओयू साइन किया है फॉर ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑफ स्टील एंड कार्गो यूजिंग इनलैंड वाटर ट्रांसपोर्ट राइट फोर्थ त्रिपुरा गवर्नमेंट ऑल्सो साइंड एंड एमओ यू विद इंडियन रजिस्टर ऑफ शिपिंग फॉर ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ सर्वे ऑफ वेसल्स एंड ट्रेनिंग ऑफ पर्सन राइट सो दीज आर सम वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट जब भी आप ऐसे न्यूज पढ़ते हो राइट यू शुड बी एबल टू कनेक्ट द डॉट्स अदरवाइज आपको याद नहीं रहेंगे ऐसे छोटे फैक्ट इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू एनालाइज एंड कनेक्ट द डॉट्स राइट अगर आई डब्ल्यू ए आई ने टाटा स्टील के साथ एक एमओ यू साइन किया है ऑब्वियसली इसके पीछे एक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट एंड बड़ा रीजन है एंड दिस दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एमओ यूज राइट इट इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट सिग्निफिकेंट एमओ यूज दैट इज बींग साइंड इन वॉट अवे कॉन्क्लेव सो मेक श्योर दैट यू डू रिमेंबर दिस राइट विच हैज बिकम द फर्स्ट डिजिटल पेमेंट प्लेटफॉर्म टू पार्टिसिपेट इन एन इंटरनेट एक्सचेंज इन इंडिया इंटरनेट एक्सचेंज एक्सट्रीम नाइन कंडक्ट करवाता है एक्सट्रीम नाइन इज अ प्राइवेटली रन इंटरनेट एक्सचेंज राइट दैट एम्स टू इम्प्रूव द इंटरनेट ट्रैफिक लोकल ट्रैफिक को बढ़ाने का काम करता है इंटरनेट एक्सचेंज इट इज अ न्यूट्रल प्लेटफॉर्म राइट इट इज अ न्यूट्रल प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ ऑल दी इंडियन इंटरनेट एक्सचेंज प्रोवाइडर्स राइट सो अगर आपके पास भी अपना खुद का एक इंटरनेट uh, सर्विस है या फिर कोई एड्रेस uh, है ऑटोनॉमिस सिस्टम है देन यू कैन ऑल्सो ज्वाइन दिस एक्सचेंज सो दैट इज हाउ इट एक्चुअली वर्क इट इज न्यूट्रल इट इज नॉन बायस्ड एंड इट हेल्प द मेंबर्स टू इम्प्रूव द लोकल ट्रैफिक राइट लोकल ट्रैफिक एंड अचीव अ रेशियो ऑफ वन बाय टेन इन ट्रैफिक एंड पियरिंग बट ऑल दीज टेक्निकलिटीज यू शुड रिमेंबर बट द की न्यूज यू शुड रिमेंबर दैट हुज बिकम द फर्स्ट डिजिटल पेमेंट ऐप पहला डिजिटल पेमेंट प्लेटफॉर्म कौन सा है दैट हैज पार्टिसिपेटेड इन इंटरनेट एक्सचेंज इन इंडिया और एक इंटरनेट एक्सचेंज इन इंडिया सबसे पहला डिजिटल पेमेंट ऐप दैट हैज ज्वाइंट इट इज फोन पे राइट ऑलमोस्ट एवरी वन यूज इज फोन पे राइट नाउ राइट सो फोन पे टू एनेबल अ फास्टर डिजिटल पेमेंट इट हैज ज्वाइंट इंटरनेट एक्सचेंज टू गेट मोर पीपल यू नो यूज इट दैट इज थ्री सेवेंटी मिलियन यूज फोन पे यूजर्स इट्स target is its target right first digital play payment platform to participate in this internet exchange right we've already discussed what this extreme nine internet exchange is right so let's just quickly move on to the next question now how much is the authorized share capital of national insurance corporation limited national insurance corporation limited last year in december on december 5 i guess 2021 it uh, celebrated 115 years of its establishment right 115 years which means that it was incorporated in the year 1906 in the spirit of swaraj bahut bahut important uh, organization public sector undertaking hai internet इंश्योरेंस कोऑपरेशन लिमिटेड और गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया ने हाल ही में तीन इंपॉर्टेंट पी एस यू का ऑथोराइज शेयर कैपिटल इंक्रीज किया है राइट सो वॉट इज बेसिकली ऑथोराइज कैपिटल ऑथोराइज कैपिटल इज अ कैप ऑन द मैक्सिम नंबर ऑफ शेयर दैट कैन बी दैट कैन बी यू नो कंपनी इज लीगली अलाउड टू यूज right it is a cap of the maximum number of shares that are legally allowed to a company to use right har company ka ek authorized capital hota hai har company ka ek paid up capital hota hai all right so authorized capital is a maximum amount paid up capital obviously is less lesser than authorized share capital okay so that is the permissible amount and always remember that some part of authorized share capital always remains unused वो अनयूज कहाँ पे चला जाता है कैपिटल रिजर्व में राइट बट लेट्स नॉट डाइव डीपर इन टू अकाउंटेंसी लेट्स फोकस ऑन द न्यूज दैट इज इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस लेट्स फोकस ऑन द क्वेश्चन दैट इज इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस आंसर इट क्विकली सो दैट वी कैन मूव ऑन टू द डिटेल्स द करेक्ट आंसर हियर इज फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड क्रोर्स इज द ऑथोराइज शेयर कैपिटल ऑफ नेशनल इंश्योरेंस को ऑपरेशन लिमिटेड ओके ओरिएंटल इंश्योरेंस को ऑपरेशन लिमिटेड का सेवेंटी फाइव हंड्रेड करोर यूनाइटेड इंडिया इंश्योरेंस को ऑपरेशन लिमिटेड का 7500 करोड़ 
इतने अमाउंट से ऑथराइज शेयर कैपिटल हर कंपनी का इंक्रीज हुआ है और राइट लास्ट मंथ पार्लियामेंट अप्रूव कैपिटल इन्फ्यूजन ऑफ फाइव कैपिटल इन्फ्यूजन ऑफ रुपीज फाइव थाउजेंड करोर इन दीज थ्री इंश्योरेंस और इट्स ऑथराइज शेयर कैपिटल इम्प्रूव करने का मतलब यही होता है दैट द कंपनीज आर गेटिंग अ सॉर्ट ऑफ अ कैपिटल इन्फ्यूजन बट नॉट ओनली दैट दे आर ऑल्सो गेटिंग अ बैकिंग बाय द गवर्नमेंट दे कैन नाउ रिलीज मोर शेयर इन दी आई पी ओ राइट दे कैन रेज मोर कैपिटल फ्रॉम द फाइनेंशियल मार्केट राइट दे कैन ग्रो एंड डेवलप एंड इन्वेस्ट मोर एंड देन सेल्स राइट नाउ लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट क्विकली हैव अ लुक एट द डिटेल्स राइट श्रीमती सुचिता स्वराज श्रीमती सुचिता गुप्ता नॉट स्वराज सॉरी इज द करेंट Managing Director, Chairman, and CEO of National Insurance, right? Oriental Insurance Company Limited. Oriental Insurance Company Limited is currently chaired by Mr. Anjan Anjan J. Anjan De, <coughs> right? And United India Insurance Corporation Limited, which is headquartered in Chennai, is currently chaired by Mr. Satyajit Tripathi, right? Right, these are some facts. You can also know about it, but I'm just telling you. We should remember. All right, it's important. Remember, Shri Mati Sujata Gupta, Mr. Ranjan De, and Mr. Satyajit Tripathi, respective chair and MD and CEO of all these three public sector undertaking insurance companies of India. <coughs> Moving on to the next question, we have as per the. Indian Payment Handbook of 2021-26 report by PwC. PwC Powerhouse Cooper is a multinational organization which is a network largest network of networking professionals, right? Yeah, ऐसे surveys conduct करवाती रहती है. Last survey, last survey published same handbook. For the first time, uh, this India Payment Handbook was published for 2020 to 25. Right now, it has revised it and it has published its second edition for 2021-26. Right in India's domestic digital payment market, and it is expected to reach how many billion transactions in financial year 26? Now the question is asking financial year 26. Thug, uh, India's online transactions, how much UPI, UPI is being expected to reach? You have these options. Quickly answer the options below. राइट right, जल्दी से आप आंसर करिए द करेक्ट आंसर द करेक्ट आंसर इज 217 हंड्रेड एंड सेवनटीन बिलियन ट्रांजेक्शन इन फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी राइट फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी तक यूपीआई विल रीच 217 हंड्रेड एंड सेवनटीन बिलियन ट्रांजेक्शन नॉट यूपीआई बट डिजिटल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर यूपीआई इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू ग्रो इवन मच मोर देन दिस right we will have a look at the charts and some graphs i have taken a screenshot from the report just to give you an idea it will help you build an insight into it right the report it looks at the upcoming trends in payment uh, ecosystem like bpnl right e rupee central bank digital currency and offline payments all right so ye sari cheeze hain UPI transactions are expected to reach 169 billion by 2026 with a compound annual growth rate of 122% since 2018 right 2016 ke basis pe agar hum log UPI ka compound annual growth rate dekhe on the basis of 2016 by the year 2025 UPI transactions are expected to grow 414% right this is just a rough estimate बट एक्चुअल में फोर हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टीन परसेंट शुड बी इट्स कंपाउंड एनुअल ग्रोथ रेट राइट द नंबर ऑफ ट्रांजेक्शन वुड बी वन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड मिलियन समथिंग ट्रांजेक्शन बाय द इयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव अकॉर्डिंग टू द रिपोर्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू द फर्स्ट एडिशन ऑफ दिस रिपोर्ट दिस इज द डेटा राइट ये मैं फर्स्ट एडिशन डिस्कस करी हूँ जो स्लाइड में लिखा हुआ है दिस इज द सेकेंड एडिशन you should know both right you should know both why because the time period still coincides right we still have to see 2025 right so bahut sare important initiatives 
very important initiatives by our government to promote digital transactions, online transactions. One of the most important and the key initiative that you should know about is lowering of merchant discount rate. Merchant discount rate ke baare mein aapko sabko pata hi hoga. You must have watched about it in one of our finance classes, right? MDR has been lowered by the RBI, right, to promote digital payments and UPI transactions in our country. <coughs> All right, ये है फोर वन फोर परसेंट का सी ए जी आर दिस इज अ चार्ट राइट ये चार्ट आप देखिए टू गेट समथिंग इन परस्पेक्टिव राइट टू बिल्ड अ परस्पेक्टिव वॉज एज एन हाउ इम्पॉर्टेंट इज द ग्रोथ पैटर्न ऑफ यू पी आई ग्रोथ ट्रेजिक डिरी ऑफ यू पी आई राइट सेवन टाइम्स तक ग्रो करेगा बाय द ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव विच बिकम्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट राइट इसीलिए इसीलिए Fraud infrastructure, right? Uh, we need very strict surveillance system, you know, against fraud. RBI ka bhi ek handbook bhi aaya tha to warn users, to educate users on frauds related to digital transactions. We have covered it in our current affairs. Neha Ma'am has also covered it in her spotlight sessions. Answer it quickly. Revision chal raha hai aapka. Let's see how much you remember. Please name the handbook published by the RBI on digital frauds, right? क्योंकि अगर यूपीआई ट्रांजैक्शंस भी बढ़ेंगे तो सर्विल सिस्टम इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर भी उतना ही स्ट्रॉन्ग होना चाहिए ऑब्वियसली राइट मूविंग ऑन टू द वेरी लास्ट बट द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फॉर टुडे इज उड़ान आरसीएस स्कीम जो कि 2016 में लॉन्च हुई थी राइट इट हैज ग्रोन टू बिकम अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्कीम राइट इट हैज बीन रिसेंटली अवॉर्डेड it has been recently been awarded by the prime minister's excellence award we will discuss about the details but first answer the question correctly what is the target of central government in terms of new airport creation new airport creation ka target kya hai by the central government remember we already have we already have some uh, 300 200 to 300 functional airports i'll just confirm the correct number with you guys shortly but first answer the question right the correct answer here is i guess it is 120 let's see i also have to know about it right the correct answer the correct answer here oh god Right. The correct answer here is not 120. The correct answer is 200. 200 have already been, uh, you know, connected. 350 new city pairs are now scheduled to be connected. Right. 350 new pairs are now scheduled to be connected. Uh, right. In the coming few years. Right. So the correct answer here now becomes 150. Actually. 150 is the additional target but we we'll just you know rectify some doubt or clarification i think there is some um vagueness in the option the correct answer here it should actually have been 350 right 200 already exist karta hai 350 is the new target right so the total overall airport infrastructure should you know airport creation should reach the number of 550 right so we'll get it fixed we'll get it fixed soon at soonest possible at the soonest possible right ministry of uh, civil aviation ki jo udan scheme hai it has been selected from prime minister's award for excellence in public administration public administration 2020 award for excellence uh, ministry of civil aviation's udan scheme has been selected under the category of innovation right under the category of innovation right it includes a trophy scroll and an intensive of rupees 10 lakh right 405 according to uran 4.1 version 405 air routes have been operationalized as on april 5 2022 right it already connects 66 under so under served or unserved airports including heliports and aerodromes right हेलीपोर्ट्स एंड एरोड्रोम्स एक्चुअली सागरमाला अभियान सागरमाला प्रोजेक्ट का बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट हिस्सा है राइट सो बेसिकली मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ 
Civil Aviation and Ministry of Shipping actually have collaborated uh, to construct heliports and water aerodromes as a key component of Sagar Mala infrastructure project. All right. So uh, basically, let's just have have an eye on some key uh, details over here. 4.2 अभी launch हो चुका है, right? 4.1 was launched in 2021 with the first seaplane service, first seaplane service which began from Kevadia to Sabarmati. Kevadia and Sabarmati का first seaplane service was launched in, under Uran 4.1. Right, 350 new city pairs are scheduled to be connected under the scheme with 200 already connected. The scheme uh, envisages to develop greenfield airports also. Right, some greenfield airports that have been developed under Uran, these include Pakyong in Sikkim. Right, Pakyong in Sikkim. Let me write it down for you guys. Right? Tezu Airport in Arunachal Pradesh. Right? Kurnool in Andhra Pradesh. Kurnool in Andhra. Right? These are some very uh, peculiar places. These are some of the most underserved places when it comes to when it comes to regional connectivity through airport schemes, right? Or in Jagope, Udan ne apne nai airports established kiye hai. Some are greenfield, some are brownfield. So it is very very important. It has led to a five percent growth. It has left to a five percent growth in domestic passenger and non metro cities, which is a big thing. Right, which is a very important um, aspect to it. All right, northeast sector may be Uran, bahut, bahut important, uh, important minor rakta hai. Right, Sagar Mala seaplane services. What I was talking about was Sagar Mala seaplane services ke under water aerodromes and heliports established kiya gaya. All right. These are ambitious projects. Uh, Sagar Mala Seaplane Services uh, aata hai, Ministry of Shipping, uh, Transport, uh, Shipping, Ports and Waterways ke under, right? But Sagar Mala Seaplane Services also coordinates with the Ministry of Civil Aviation for the construction, for the development of water aerodromes, heliports and all those infrastructure services. All right, so I think this was it for today. And this was it for today. We have already covered this, right? Important uh, names of some important airports. 100 new airports by 2024 is the target. Raha hai. 2026, 1000 new airports. And also, Republic Day 2022, ke din, Ministry of Civil Aviation was based on Uran scheme. Also won the award for Best Ministry Tablet. Okay. Of course, its subcomponents, Uran ke subcomponents also include Krishi Uran, right, which uh, includes farmer productivity. If you follow news, follow kar rahe ho, to you must have come across how much exports have increased in the farmer spec sector, especially when wheat, rice, and sugar ka export kitna zada increase hua hai. Four fold jump, right. You also have international Uran project that comes under Uran ICS. So, obviously, the award was well deserved. Right, the work done was legitimate and good and recorded. All right, so this was it for today. Thank you so much for watching our videos. All right, see you in the next class. As usual, I've told you that the PDF of everything will be available on the Telegram channel as well as our Infinity app. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. See you in the next class. Bye bye.